Hi, Chris McClune here with Fire Apparatus and Emergency Equipment. Welcome to this edition of our Unbox Series. As you can see, this box is a bit bigger than any of the ones we've done so far. And that's because it has a Command Light Night Series light tower in it. We're going to spend some time today talking about the light tower, and we're going to be talking about how this fixture from FireTech makes that light tower a little extra special. So let's get this thing out of the box, and we'll take you on a tour. Once you get the cover off, everything is pretty, pretty easy to find. We just have some different packing materials that easily come off, exposing the light tower as, as you unpack it. Everything is pretty straightforward. You have the light tower here. When you get this box opened up, all of your installation equipment and instructions are in there. Of course, one of the most important pieces of the light tower is being able to put it up, put it up and get it up and running and that you'll do with your remote control. This remote control has a 15 foot tether. Once you get started, ready to go, you can stand in a variety of places around the truck to get this up and running. Obviously in real life, once this is unpacked, your fire apparatus manufacturer is going to install it on the rig. We've got it wired up here today so that we can go through some of the features. Again, 15 feet of wire for you to put this up from a variety of places on the truck. Now, as I mentioned before, what we're looking at today is a night series light tower by Command Light. Now, how do we get here? Command Light identified a trend in the fire service, and that was that fire departments were beginning to spec out more vehicle-mounted scene lighting than light towers for a variety of reasons, one of them being cost. So they got together with FireTech to develop a fixture that is specifically designed for light towers versus trying to adapt an existing fixture to a light tower. What that has done is it's resulted in a, a variety of cost efficiencies which have helped bring that price of a new light tower down by approximately 33%. Each one of these fixtures is rated at 14,000 lumens, so you are getting the power of LED lighting at a closer to halogen light tower price. So let's talk about the light tower itself. This light tower is all electric and it will deploy in 15 seconds. Once deployed, it stands about seven and a half feet above the base, which will be mounted, of course, on the top of your fire apparatus. What this light tower also offers is command light backlight feature, and that allows two different areas to be illuminated at once. Another feature of this light tower is that it can be angled out and over the side of the vehicle, which allows light to be projected down instead of out. Now, the light fixtures are the Command Light Helios light fixture by FireTech. They are all rated at 14,000 lumens. They are available in both AC and DC versions, and they are all retrofittable to older command light light towers. The beam pattern for these lights is a combination spot flood. FireTech will warranty these lights for the lifetime of the vehicle, and as they say, more light, same price, better or longer warranty. So why spec a light tower? When we're on the scene of an accident, we're not only trying to protect the victim at the scene, we're trying to protect ourselves as firefighters, and we're trying to protect oncoming drivers and drivers coming from behind us. One big way to do that, we know, is to have elevated light. Elevated light is going to come down over the scene versus light that is projected directly out from a fire truck, possibly blinding people as they're coming around the curve. So again, today we've been looking at the Night Series light tower with Command Light Helios fixtures by FireTech. These light fixtures are also available for the Shadow Series and the Sea Light, and they're also retrofittable. If you need any more information on these light fixtures or the light towers themselves, visit www.commandlight.com. Again, this has been Chris McClune with Fire Apparatus and Emergency Equipment. Have a good one and stay safe.